Alibaba's sponsorship of the European Football Championship could see it scoring some goals of its own. Bloomberg Intelligence senior analyst Catherine Lim joins us now. Uh, so Catherine, has Alibaba been able to capitalise on its sponsorship uh, with UEFA Euro 2024? Well, we've been tracking the download numbers and things are looking good. We've actually seen the download numbers on a year-on-year -year basis increasing and escalating to a high as of uh, June 17. So, you know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and I do think that we might actually reach new peaks again as we go into, you know, the um, quarterfinals and then into the finals. So what essentially this means is that there are now more users with AliExpress on their mobiles and the real test is whether Alibaba is able to really retain these new users and get them to actually spend more on their platform. So is this going to have a positive impact on Alibaba's financials in the coming quarter? Well, you know, we know the kind of money that goes into sponsorships, throwing out, you know, the discounts, the freebies when every goal is scored during these matches. It's going to cost Alibaba's money and its International Digital Commerce Unit, AIDC in particular, which is already in losses, will probably see that deficit widening in this current quarter. Um, the company has talked about it. I don't think it's going to come as a surprise to the market really i think all eyes are going to be how big that gap is going to be so we're we going to see the same level of publicity across alibaba's apps at uh, the next big sports events it's of course paris 2024 the olympics well, maybe that's going to be a little bit of good news for some that um, Alibaba is going to lift their pedal, um, lift their feet off the pedal for the um, Paris um, 2024. And, you know, it's going to shift gear a little towards Alibaba cloud. And that's the unit that's going to be driving some of the technologies um, behind the broadcasting, for instance, for the Paris Olympics. Um, the good news is that, you know, we're not going to actually see um, a lot of that incremental spend Ending. But likewise, you're not going to see the company in a position to really monetize the Paris Olympic sponsorship. Some of the other companies like Tencent, um, Kwai Show, which actually has the on-demand um, videos, um, rights, they may be in a better position to monetize on the Paris Olympics than Alibaba. All right, Bloomberg Intelligence Senior Analyst Catherine Lim there.